Oh, easy. Hello, and welcome back to the road to the 200kg deadlift. This episode will be going through what I am doing to achieve that 200kg deadlift. Now, as you can see, we are doing a lot of rep work and working with a new PT to help increase my deadlift to 200kg. You know, get as much help as I can, learn so pick up stuff along the way. So the first set we're doing is 101kg at 7 reps. Now, as you can see, if you can, there's a little tiny 0.5kg play to the end of the barbell, which brings us to 101. Now, this is about 60 or 65% of my one rep max, so we're working through that, doing it like a block type of system. So we're not just maxing out every week. First time I've done training like this actually, so I'm quite looking forward to the results and see how it goes. So the first set went pretty well, you know, going up pretty quick, 101 kg. For some reps, it's not a ton of weight, I'll be honest. It felt quite easy and light. Now, getting into set number two, I changed the camera angle around, and thank God I did. Because as you could see, my knees caved in. Now, this can be detrimental when doing heavier type of lift. What it means is my foot and my feet, they're moving around a bit. They're not 100% secure on the ground. This is why it causes them to cave in. Now there's an old video of me deadlifting from quite a few months ago and that knee cave, this is about 110 kg, is ridiculous. It's because, literally just because of your feet basically, they're not like properly secured on the floor which causes the balance, imbalance happen, sorry. And this also happens on squats as well so it's important to like full on like cough through your feet into the ground so that it's nice and secure from the ground up when doing your deadlifts. Apart from that I thought this set was pretty good and um, just what I'm trying to do as well is practice my bracing and breathing I'm not doing like a touch and go deadlift up down up down up down it's like up down breath in get the set up as best I can take it easy it's not a race you don't need to like fly through the sets of deadlift there's no like time limits whatever there's no one wanting to go on after me because I'm training at home or anything like that I'm just doing it at my own pace getting my set up right so the form is as good as I want it to be and I know I'll do the lift with proper bracing etc etc. So moving on to the third set and I'll be honest I'm gonna be t slightly tired by now but I'm still like doing it pretty well it's the weight's still flying up pretty good easily what I'm doing as well is pulling the slack out of the bar as well each time before I do a deadlift as well so that just helps me I know people just like to like launch it and jerk it up but I always find that pulling the slack out of the bar first helps a lot of get through that leg drive a lot more rather than I'll be through the lower back which can cause lower back pain later on if I don't address like form early on when I come to maxing out which will be quite heavy as well like we're talking like 170 upwards that will be very heavy and if I I'm not spot on with my form basically I can get injured very quickly with lower back pain or so just making sure my form's on point taking my time each set rep and this is the final set of 101 kg and I was pretty tired towards the end I can't lie as you can see by my face on the last rep but I'm glad it was over with now as part of my new program I'm doing deadlifts twice a week like conventional deadlifts and this is the variation we're doing which is a pause deadlift which is 95 kg at six reps now i thought this <laughs> this can't be that difficult this 95 kg i had to look online what the pause is i'm like oh this will be quite easy and you pull up a little bit and then like full on like hoof it up basically and now we have to spend a bit of time warming up and getting the form as good as possible as we can because when i was like doing in the warm-up just like jerking it up I'm not pausing with it in my hand, it's like going down a bit so I need to like jerk up as well which brings a lot more back into it as well as feeling it in my back as well rather than my legs because that's what you want in your deadlift to feel it through your legs not through your back but this is quite difficult to pause deadlift and I think a 95kg for it was a pretty good solid number obviously that will go up the weeks go by but it was like a fun and challenging variation to try and I did enjoy doing the pause deadlift I thought it was quite a challenge even a 95 kg but 
when you're doing a new variation, a new exercise, it's important to like not to ego lift, take it easy, lighten the weight on it because you you don't want to get hurt or injured, or even if you do like a heavy weight, for example, you may be put off by that exercise and don't want to do it because it's hard. But just taking it easy on this exercise. I wouldn't say taking it easy, sorry. It was quite hard as well, getting making sure that pause, like the bar, like stance is as still as possible, really. So I'm not having to like jerk it up as well. But again, I enjoyed this week's set of deadlifts. Quite a lot of rep work. About 44 reps in total, I believe. My maths isn't incorrect. No, 46, sorry. But I enjoyed doing this variation of the deadlift and I can't wait to be back in the gym doing it for episode 3. So thanks for watching the second episode of the Road to the 200kg deadlift. And again, there won't be a lot of maxing out for a while, which gets all the views and attention. But this is the work that needs to be done before maxing out all the boring... <laughs> you know what I mean, there's no like maxing out. Just the boring, unsexy stuff that needs to be done, but yeah. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.